Ash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Today for breakfast, the cats are trying this wellness turkey dinner pate. They liked the chicken and herring that they had the other day from wellness, so they're going to try this today. So this is what's going on with the breakfast this morning. Boo loves his food. He loves any kind of food in a can, and he's eating it right away. Even when I opened the crunchy container, he did not move. He just continued eating. So. So Boo is really, really happy right now. Stella is pretty happy too. She usually doesn't mind whether it's from a can or raw. Simba would not eat his food, like would not go near it until I put some crunchies on it. And Splash does not want to have anything to do with the food, even with crunchies on it, and he ran upstairs. So, you know, with four cats, you're kind of lucky when all four of them are in agreement about anything. And even having three cats in agreement about something is good odds because look at this. Look. Simba. Simba. Simba, you're sitting on the table. Good boy. Good boy, Simba. So what's going to happen is Boo will probably finish his and then maybe finish whatever is left over because Boo just loves canned food. It's 10.30 a.m. and I just went outside to give Hijack some food. But he was sitting on this doormat like a Buddha and I was like, oh my god, he looks so cute. So I went back inside to get the camera. But he walked over here because he's looking for food, so I'm gonna go outside. This bowl was perfectly clean yesterday, and today it's full of dirt. It looks like the raccoons took a bath. Same thing for this feeder. It was perfectly clean, and now there's all kinds of debris in the water. So Hydrox is getting the wellness pate. He's getting what's left of the chicken and herring flavor, and he's getting water and herbs in it, so it's really soupy for him. 10.58 a.m. Hydrox and Boo are hanging out together by the door. It's 11.09 a.m. and I just gave Hydrox one of the plastic beds to lay in. I've never seen him lay in one of these plastic beds. It is starting to rain and drizzle now. The best thing for him would be for him to go in the alcove under the house, like where the shelters are. So hopefully he will do that. I mean, there's a little bit of an overhang above him right now, but hopefully if it does start raining harder. What I would like to do is put the cat lounge chair like right there so he could like lay in the lounge chair. But the problem is I still need to put new fabric on it. So it's kind of now on my list of things to do because I think he'd like that. It's something comfortable to lay on. It has like a, a shade canopy on it and the other cats all loved it. I used to hang toys on it and I used to play with the toys. So Maybe I would do the same thing for hijacks, but the fabric is all super brittle. I need to change that, and it's starting to rain harder, so I'm going to go inside. It's 11.25 a.m., and Hydrox keeps laying by the back door on this mat, even though it's raining harder out. But every time I go near him, he runs away. There he is right now. He's laying on the other side of the patio, but he's watching me. It's 11.45 a.m. I just walked into the living room. And Splash was laying here near these two pillows. And he was using the one pillow as a pillow. It was the cutest thing ever. So I went and I got the camera. And of course, when I come back, then he gets freaked out and he jumps off. It's 4.44 p.m. I'm sitting here working on my computer and Splash came up to me. So I very quietly went into the crunchy container and I got him some crunchies. And I put the crunchies on the rug, but then Splash backed away. 
but there's still crunchies on the rug. And look who found them. It was so beautiful and warm yesterday. It was like 70 degrees. And then even earlier today, it was nice and warm. It was probably, you know, high 50s, low 60s. And then it rained. And right now it is back to being really cold again. It's back to being in the 40s. But I just went outside and I gave Hijack some food. It's in the heated kitty cafe. And when I went outside, I did not see Hijack. So I was like, hey, Hijax. Hijax, I'm giving you your food. And then after I did that, I looked at the shelter and he was crawling out of the cat shelter. So he's a smart cat. It's 9.15 p.m. right now. The cats are having their crunchies. It's almost 11 p.m. and look at Stella. She looks so pretty in her royal bed. I put her blanket in the bed, her little pink blanket, because it matches the bed. And she loves it. Stella, you look so pretty. Here's Simba. He's sleeping on the cat tower with his feet hanging over. This is the little scratching rug that I bought for the cats at Ikea. It's been in my car for like a week. I kept forgetting to take it out. I just remembered, so... I put it on the play rug for the cats and we'll see what they do to it. Let's see if they scratch it. Stella immediately went over to it and started scratching it. Like she knows exactly what to do. I think they're really gonna like it. And hopefully it will leave like less debris around the house, less debris than like a cardboard scratcher, or even from the scratching post with all that carpet that they keep tearing out. I think Stella has claimed it as hers. It's 7 a.m. Three cats on the cat towers. Who's on the bed? Good morning, Stella. You look so pretty on this quilt. How are you, Stella? It is 7.44 a.m. I just went outside and I gave Hijack some fresh water and some homemade raw food. I don't see him outside. He's probably sleeping in the cat shelter. It is so cold out. All of the water in that big stainless steel water bowl was frozen. And I just checked the thermometer and it's like 36 degrees out. It's 8.51 a.m. I just walked into the living room and noticed this. Look at Boo. Boo's all curled up on top of the cat condo. I've never seen Boo sit on top of this cat condo. I've never seen him sleep on top of this cat condo. This is like a first for Boo. He looks so comfortable. Meanwhile, Splash is in Boo's room. He's been looking out the windows. How you doing, Splash? All the other cats are sleeping. Here's Simba. Sim is on top of the cat tower in the bedroom. It's 11.45 a.m. right now and I just got the mail and 
really excited to see what's in this box. So there is a, so there is an animal shelter that is doing a fundraiser in May and they contacted me via email. They were wondering if I could donate any merchandise for them to use as a fundraiser. They were specifically interested in the I Love Feral Cats stickers and buttons and I didn't really have a whole lot of the stickers left. So I ended up coming across um, a really good deal from a place that makes stickers. And um, so I ordered some new stickers. These are slightly smaller in size, but the red part is supposed to be glittery. The camera battery died, so I had to swap out for a different camera. So I don't know where it cut off, but um, these stickers are pretty much the same design. It's just that they're slightly smaller and the red part is supposed to be like glittery. Let's check them out. The other difference is the other ones that I had um, had slightly rounded edges and these are square, but they're still really cute, especially for a fundraiser for like a giveaway or even if they, um, you know, sold them for like a dollar each for donations. I think that's what they want to do with them. Oh my gosh, look, can you guys, I don't know how well you could see it, but the heart, the heart is like totally glittery. That is so, that is so cool. So these are two and a half inches versus three inches. They're square versus square with rounded corners. And I mean, they feel like good quality. I'm not sure if they're vinyl, are they? Yeah. And these are vinyl. These are vinyl stickers. So that's what it looks like. It's a really nice vinyl sticker. The white is actually like matte and the uh, black is glossy and then the red is sparkly. So that that is really cool. So I'm going to be sending a lot of these to the animal shelter to use for their fundraiser but I just thought I would show these to you. Hello Hydrox. See, that's what he does when I go near the back door. If Hydrox is by the back door and I go near the back door, then Hydrox runs. Hello, Bo. So I just gave Hydrox two scoops of homemade raw food with water and herbs. He should go eat it. And I have to feed the inside cats. Hello, Stella. There's Hydrox's food. I came back out so I could kind of direct him to the fact that I just gave him food. I had to go outside and tap on the bowl. And after I did that, then Hydrox realized that there's food in it. He just walked over. Hopefully he'll eat it. It's 11 p.m. right now. And I just sat down on the living room floor to spend some time with the cats because I've been busy since I got home. And someone was in a fight, right, Boo? And that someone would be you, right, Boo? The question is, who was the other someone in the fight, right, Boo? Because the fight was in the hallway, and there's not a camera in the hallway, so I can't see who it was. I was in the bathroom at the time, cleaning, and when I heard it, I opened the door really fast and started yelling so that they would break it up. And there was Boo standing in the middle of the hallway, just looking at me like a deer in the headlights, just staring at me like, what's going on? Now the other cat that appeared to be with him was Stella because Stella was in the kitchen all shooken up. Right, Stella? And then Boo ran into the kitchen and he ran under the kitchen table and Stella did not want to go near him. So if you ask me, I think it was Stella and Boo in the fight in the hallway. But it's hard to tell because the cat was screaming, but it did not sound like Boo screaming. It could have been Stella screaming or it could have been Simba screaming or it could have been Splash screaming but circumstantial evidence would point to Stella. 
And I don't know what they were fighting about, but I know that they were mad that I was cleaning the bathroom and not spending time with them. They get that way. So here's Simba. Simba says he was innocent. He had nothing to do with it. There's Splash. Splash says he has no idea what was going on. Stella, you look very guilty. Boo means well. Boo says he didn't try to start a fight, but Stella misinterpreted it. Right, Boo? It's okay, Boo. It's okay, Boo. You're a nice boy, Boo. I know you're a nice boy. Okay? Look how nice your fur looks. Stella. Stella, I know you're a nice girl. You just have to be nice to Boo. Just be nice to Boo because Boo likes you. Stella, Boo loves you. Okay? My hand was in one of those plastic gloves when I was cleaning. Okay, Stella. Anyway, the cats made their acting debut tonight in a video called Who Pooed? Right, Boo? Stella deserves an Academy Award for her performance. The video is actually called Cats Pooped on the Floor, Washing Cat Blankets, and Who Pooped? The thing with YouTube is you're not allowed to use the word poop in the title, description, or tags of your video because if you do, they demonetize you. So I had to change the word poop to poo. So the word poo is okay, but if you put a P on the end of it and make it poop, then they demonetize you. It's kind of stupid, Splash, right? Yeah, Splash says that's dumb. Trying to put this under the paper. Oh, there it goes. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.